He got them there. Um, through Kyrie Irving ups and downs in the whole playoffs, where we get glorifying this man for being a superstar and this talented player. But Kyrie was very inconsistent all playoffs. So for us to be shocked that he did what he did in the in the finals, we shouldn't be. He was nine points, nine points, twelve points against OKC. He came alive against Minnesota, and then back to this series. Every time he played in Boston. He was 14 points. 12. Like, he was never the the, the the Robin to the Batman. So, Luca, I'm going to equate this to, like, weightlift. Luca was out there bench pressing 185. He could, he, could, he could bench press 185 easily. Easily. So, when he played the Charlotte Hornets and the, 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 the Spurs, he can, he can carry that on his own. He can carry that on his own. But he's playing against the Boston Celtics. That's 315, man. That's three caddies on each side. Somebody get the motherfucker a spot. Like, Harry Irvin gave him no spot. Uh, uh, PJ Washington, no spot. Tim Hardaway, no spot. Like, help me. In the, in the famous words of Kevin Hart, help me. Like, he was not getting the help. He was out there lifting all the weights by himself. We had a Kyrie game that was 35, and Luka kind of let him down a little bit. But it was one game. He needed him a lot more. At the beginning of the series, what, at the beginning of the series, what I said, Kyrie has to be. No, we both said it. He got to average 30, 30 a game. We said that. Yeah. For them to have any chance. He yeah, has he has to average 30 a game. Consistently. Like, the, what he did in game four, five, six, and seven against against the um the Warriors. The Warriors. He needed to do that. Forty point games. He needed a thirty five point game. He needed to have an impact in the game. But it needed to be an efficient 30, 35. It couldn't be just a, a ten for twenty eight. And he needed to be an efficient yes. 30, 30. Like I was saying he needed to have forty. Because yes. at, at, there, there's a point I don't believe in Kyrie Irving. I know yes. Kyrie Irving is immensely talented. I know he has the ability you know, when people you throw away that terminology on, on these TV shows in the morning, you know, first take, get up, all NBA on ESPN, whatever shows they talk about, they always make these comments. And, and it just drives me bananas because we I, this thought that they have the best backcourt deal, they don't. They don't. They, 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 they don't. don't. Because you're overhyping what Kyrie Irving is. He's mm -hmm. a good player. Mm -hmm. Good players are otherwise known as role players. He's a, he's a high-level role player. And people will tell me, you're crazy. No, that's exactly what he is. Uh, because, I because he, yeah, but you know what? Go look, go look at all the games since the OKC ser series. He had like 10 games with less than 20 points. That's a role player. Yeah. That's a role player. He had three of his, three of his, what did he have in, what did he have in game, uh, well, game four, I don't want to count because he probably didn't play more than 30 minutes because they were up so much. But he had one great game. And and they lost, and they were losing by 20 in the fourth quarter of that game. They made the comeback, but they were getting blown out of the building. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, it, you have this skill. He has He's immensely talented. He's getting older. They keep ignoring. Like, people think these guys' legs last forever. LeBron James is a freak. Simple <laughs> as that. He's a freak. LeBron James won a championship with that man in 2016. 16, right? Yeah, 15 they lost. They lost in 15. 16. They won a championship in 16. That was eight years ago. Kyrie's over 30 now. He's not the same guy. He, you know, he was constantly hurt with Brooklyn. He, he got hurt in every unfortunate situation. He decides he doesn't want to do a COVID shot. Well, that's none of my business. I don't really care. But it has a massive impact on their team. He's always made it more – like, look, I think he's improved as a, as, a, as a teammate in Dallas. And I've heard him in interviews saying, you know, I always wanted my teammates to have my back. Well, how can they have your back when you don't have theirs? When you're not showing up to play. Like, the, the, to me, I'm going to go to this spot. College football playoff. Florida State Seminoles get screwed. Mm -hmm. And what happens? 70% of the roster says they're not going to play. Yep. Of or the big time guys. Like half more than half to more than half the starters say, I'm not playing. They're the missing team. their best receivers, they're missing their best running backs, they're missing their best defensive linemen, they're missing their linebackers, they're missing everybody. 
the fuck? And then they got to go out there and play Georgia. And if I'm a player on that team, there was a linebacker that played in that game, a starter who played in that game. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I can't fuck with you anymore. Like, I have no respect for you because you're supposed to be my guy. You're supposed to have my back. And no you abandoned me in no the matter, Orange Bowl. No matter what the situation is. I know we got screwed. But let's you, one you abandoned me. Like, and yeah, let's get it done. But, and I think, I'm sorry. And I, think, and no, I just no, think no, that no, no. Kyrie does that. Kyrie's had a history of doing that. And that's why he's not a top 75 player. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not what his talent is and what he does on the court. I don't think he got the most out of his talent. He was a, he's a phenomenal player. He could get to his spot. He's shoot. never been a first team All NBA player, has he? It's, huh? Has he never been first team All NBA, right? No, no. I think second team one time and the third team another time. Yeah. He never got first team. But he had a, I mean, he played in the era with Steph Curry, Harden. It doesn't matter. West it don't Curry. matter. What does I, it matter? I, Why does that matter? No, I'm just saying, but his talent wise, he, he, he had he's a, been He's been All NBA second team one time in one 19. Time third team one time. And he wasn't even with the Cavaliers anymore. He was with the Celtics, right? Yeah. In 19? He yeah. was with the Celtics in 19. So he yeah. got that with the, he didn't get that with the Cavs. He was twice third team. I was in 15 and 21. So that was with the Nets, and that was with the, the Cavs once. Mm. Go look at the guys in the 80s and 90s who were first. No, he, Hell, look at the, he, the tens, the zeros and tens. He he has not lived up to his ability. So that's why he's not a top 75 player. And then you have to add the off the court stuff. You have to add him not being there for his teammates when they needed him. You got to add all the injuries, him not being able to play over 60 games a lot of them years. You have to add it into the into into the situation, man. You got to add to they go to 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 the Boston and get swept. You have to add all these things. Him not playing in the playoffs when he probably was healthy or in the bubble when he was healthy and left his team hanging by himself just because KD wasn't playing. You got to add all those things into it, and that's why he's not a top seventy-five player. His talent, yes, top seventy-five. I no doubt. I I will not argue y'all, argue with y'all. That. But when you talk about the top seventy-five player, players that were there for their team, did all the things, showed up big time for the, 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 the when they were the first player on their team, like the top player on their team, they carried their team to a playoff. He didn't do that. I mean, the Boston year, but he was got hurt. And he didn't play the whole playoffs, so that was a big thing. When he was broke Brooklyn, he got swept. You know, even with with KD. You know, and when KD wasn't there, he couldn't even lead that team to the playoffs like that. Or he decided not to play later on. So, like, when he was that top option, he, he, he was never that guy. So, for us to say he's a top 75 player, compared to other players that had to do it, Dame Lillard had to do it. Also. The biggest snub was Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard is the biggest snub of the top 75. That guy led that Orlando team for eight years of being a, a defensive player of the year, but like not like a regular defensive player of the year, like, like Draymond, you know, he's, guiding the defense. No, he was making impact blocking shots. He came to the hole. He wasn't getting any offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. He did that. Like, he was an enforcer. And on the offensive end, he was giving 22 points, 21 points a night. And, and, and three to four blocks. He carried his team to the finals. And every year in the playoffs, he was a top player. You know, those first eight years in Orlando. Now, that's a snub. Now, he comes back to to Houston, and he falls off a little bit because of the injuries and playing with Harden. But he was still solid there. He wasn't terrible. And then later on in his career, when he fell off, he was still giving you 14, 15 rebounds a game in Charlotte. So that was a snub. He he lived up to his potential, you know, as a player. He got as much as he could out of himself before the injuries happened. I don't never think Kyrie got what he should have got out of himself. So that's why he's the player that he is, and that's why he's inside the top seventy. Listen to this. This these are num these are numbers. I, I, you know I'm a data person. That's why the other topics that we discuss a lot bother me so much because people like people like data until they don't like it. People mm-hmm. like the data until it doesn't work on the, in their favor. And, and and if the data doesn't work in my favor, it doesn't work in my favor. So therefore, I, I respect data just across the board. Like if you tell me I have a better propensity, I, I have a, more, a higher you have a better chance of getting into a car accident than you do it in a plane crash. Like, we know this. This is logic. This is data. Kyrie Irving has not played 70 games in eight years. 70. Not 82. 70. He has played, the most games he's played is in the, since 2017-18 season, his first year in Boston, he played 67 games in his second season in Boston. That's the most games he's played since 2016-17 with the Cavs, when he played 72. If you want to go beyond that, 
He's only played 70 games three times his entire career. He's played 71 with Cleveland in 13-14, 75 and 14-15, 53 the year they won the championship, 72 the year after. He played 51 and 59 his first two seasons as a 21 year a 20 year old. Like and it hasn't all been injuries. <laughs> it's, it's I don't feel like it, or I'm I, I'm gonna take time off, or I have a headache, or I'm this, or I'm that. There's always something. He's not reliable, and I'm not trying to shit on this man at all. But he's an unreliable teammate, and that's why, you, you know, when you get to these points, you're like, dude. When they say he's a leader, yeah, you know, if they think he is in Dallas, then great. They went to the yeah, finals, cheated. maybe. <laughs> He, he grew up, but I'm not gonna take but, away from anything for somebody to change. If he but changed, he played, you know, he played 58 games this year. He played 60 last year. He played 29 the year before that was COVID. He played 54, 20, 67, six. Like there's always something that keeps Kyrie Irving out of the lineup. And when you're in the finals, and you lay a freaking egg like he did in three of the five games. On all three on the road was absolutely tragically bad. Like, what did he shoot in games one and two? Because he was five for sixteen tonight. It was, it was something it was terrible. So terrible. You know. So yeah, I, Doncic, I say, is very, very immature. I still believe he's very, very immature, and mm-hmm. he won't become. Be- he won't become a. He won't have the ability to become a champion until he actually stops complaining all the time about calls. But realistically, how much longer does Kyrie Irving have in his legs? Because he's a glorified role player as far as I'm concerned, and I'm going to stick to that, and I believe that. He's a high-level role player. Bob but Bob basically said that. He came out there and he said he's not able to, to beat the finish like he used to. He's not no, he's not. Like and then people are like, well, put him against you, Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy don't have to play against him. He's analyzing That's, the game. I like, hate those stupid – those people are stupid. Like the people that say, oh, well, he could beat you. Well, yeah, I'm 46 and I don't play in the NBA. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, Bob Cousy's analyzing the game like we're doing. And, and Cousy's 90. <laughs> at this point, he didn't have to play against Kyrie. Okay, if he did, who knows what would have happened back You then. don't know. If Kyrie yeah, because if he played versus Kyrie in 1960, freaking 1960, Kyrie would have to dribble the ball like this. <laughs> so Not like this. And not the you know try take take eight steps to take a shot. Yeah, so you don't get this, you don't get the fake step back. I argue with my kids today. Oh, that's a gather dribble. No, no, there's no such thing as a gather dribble. We we, we both know this. They made that shit up to allow it's traveling. It's been in the rule book. People it's not been. It's not been, been Nick. It. I'm not going to argue the rule book. It's not been the rule book. It's not been the rule book. You can ask any player in the '90s. All the things that these guys do today are travels. They were called travels. They're being called. They were called travels up until like eight years ago. James Harden made traveling allowed he more than anybody. Book. He learned the rule book and he knew how to get by it. But he didn't learn he, shit. You think James Harden knows how to read? Really? I'm not doing that. He knows that. how to read. The, he knows how to read the win section of the freaking Magic City Strip I'm Club not, for food. I'm not doing that. Shit. Uh, You're not doing that. You goddamn well know he don't know the damn rule book. Most of these players don't know the actual rules. What well, the trainers told him? Somebody read it. And told, but that's not the point. That's neither here nor there. After, after um, Dallas beat Minnesota, there were people on my Facebook page telling me that Kyrie is better or is as good as Steph Curry. That's out, that's outrageous. Hmm. Y'all, are we talking about the same Steph Curry who has the highest impact in the offensive game in history of, of, of the sport? Like his impact on offense is the highest in basketball history. His impact, like how you have to guard him and what he does to your defense. Maybe other people could score better, but his impact and what he causes for other people to get open. Kyrie doesn't do that. Kyrie don't make the game easier for anybody. I've never seen a player play next to Kyrie like he's has the game is easier because he's playing with Kyrie. I, I never seen it. I never seen him, you know, drive the ball, kicking his. Oh, Kyrie's making the game easy. He doesn't do that. Kyrie, no, he, does, he, he doesn't. Steph Curry, he's been doing it his whole time. He makes the game easier for Draymond Green. I'm not going to go into that. Clay Thompson, you know, all these guys' careers and got why they got paid because of Steph Curry because he's that damn good. He's, you know, you got to pick him up 50 feet up the court because of how impactful he is on the court, where he can shoot the ball from, how the passes he can make, just how he reads it. And that's the difference between those players, you know. And and that's why Steph has four championship rings. You know how to play with other players. You know how 
to sit back in the, in the weeds sometimes and let other people get their, you know, their points and, and, and win games. Yeah. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank you.